All right, what's up? Let's take a look at storing and recalling numbers on a TI-84+. Plus. All right, so I've got this uh, expression here that I want to evaluate in the, in the calculator. Now, you could type all this in at one time and, and get the right answer if you type it in right. But with something like this, it's easy to uh, make a mistake. Leave out a parenthesis or, you know, just just type it in wrong. So let's look at storing and recalling numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter in the numerator. We're going to store that. Then we're going to enter in this square root, store that number, and then enter this square root in and store that number. And then we'll recall them to calculate the final answer. All right. So first, just enter in the numerator just like you see it. So that's going to be 7, and, and we could look, we could hit times and then parenthesis, or if you wanted to, you could just do the parenthesis and then the number 18458, close parenthesis, minus, and then parenthesis 678, and then 166 and hit enter and that's the answer you get when you put in the numerator well you can also write this number down and then you can write down the numbers you get after you evaluate these square roots and then enter those back in but instead of doing that let's store this number in in the calculator's memory so you hit STO, all right? So we want to store this answer in memory slot A, all right? So we need to hit alpha, and then you see the A here, and it, it already defaulted to A. So we can go ahead and hit enter. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's, I'm sorry. We're going to go to store and then alpha and then I need to hit A and then enter. And it stored that number in A. I mean the A was blinking but you, you gotta, you, you've got to hit the A to store it in A. Alright, now let's enter in the denominator. So I want to do second square root. See there's the square root. And then I'm going to do 7, parenthesis, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2, close parenthesis, minus, and then 6, 7, 9, and then I need to square it. There's the square key. And so I hit enter, and that's the answer I get. Okay. Now I want to store this answer in memory slot B. So hit STO, all right, and then I'm going to hit alpha, and see it defaults to A, but you've got to hit one of the letters. Well, I'm going to store that in memory slot B. So hit B and hit enter, and so that number is stored in memory slot B. And then let's do the same thing for this one. So I've got second square root and I've got 7, parenthesis, 6, 7, 6, 8, close parenthesis, minus 166 squared. And hit enter. And then I'm going to store this. So hit STO. And then alpha. And I'm going to store this in memory slot C. See the letters there? So I hit C. And enter so that's stored in memory slot C so what what I would do is I would I would come over here I would come over here and I would label this a this B and this C so you know where each number is okay so then what we have to do to calculate this is we just need to come down here and say a divided by, and then in parentheses, 
B times C. Okay, and that's how we will, and that's how we'll enter it into our calculator. All right. So what I need to do is I need to recall A. So the way that we do that, and let's go ahead and, well, we'll just leave it. All right. So to recall, you see this RCL here. I need to get to that. So to get to that, you've got to hit the second function key. So I'm going to hit second, recall. And then I'm going to hit alpha. Well, which one do I need to recall? I need to recall A. And so I'm going to hit A and hit enter. And then divided by. And then in parentheses, I'm going to recall B. So second, recall, and then what do I want to recall? B, and so that's here. Oh, I'm sorry, let's see. Let's go back. Recall, did I hit alpha? No, okay, alpha, I didn't hit the alpha. So let's recall B, and so hit enter, all right, and then times and then I need to recall C. So second, recall, and then we hit alpha. See, when I went to do the B, I didn't hit alpha before I clicked this and it took me somewhere else. But you can see I just hit clear and it took me back and I was able to do it. So it didn't mess anything up. Just remember, you're gonna have this blinking thing here when, you're, when it's ready for you to enter in a letter. And so I'm going to hit C, enter. And so there's what C equals. And then I close my parenthesis, hit enter, and there's my solution. All right. So I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.